Welcome to the Mask Fanatic once again. Time to uh, interrupt your steady flow of insurance commercials that you normally watch with a little information on another cool collectible rubber monster mask from days of yore. You're mine, uh, somebody's. Anyway, back in the year 1959, a movie came out called The Hideous Sun Demon. Now, the movie itself may have fallen short of being a uh, cinematic uh, masterpiece. Falls a little bit short of that. However, the monster in it is one of the coolest of the era. And, uh, well, it's kind of one of my uh, favorite monsters uh, of all time from a strictly visual standpoint. Again, the movie disappointing, but the monster mask tremendous. It was created by an artist named Gian Battista Casarino, credited as Richard Casarino, and his creation for the movie The Hideous Sun Demon looked like this. How can you not love that? That's so cool. That's just one of the coolest monsters, you know? And uh, actually, Mr. Casarino went on to uh, create a similarly scaly uh, monster, although less humanoid, but still with this uh, imbricated scale pattern going on for the 1966 movie Destination Inner Space. Uh, another uh, uh, monster that, like this one, probably should have been a Don Post Studios mask at some point, but it never happened. However, the one from uh, Destination Inner Space kind of got close to Don Post Studios mask territory because Don Post Studios released a mask called Sea Creature once uh, that was clearly inspired by that monster, but not really, uh, uh, you know, an accurate version. But what was I talking about again? Oh yes, the Sun Demon. Now the Sun Demon here, uh, as worn by Robert Clark in the movie, was uh, a guy who, well, he was contaminated by radiation. And after that, uh, whenever he would be exposed to sunlight, he would turn into this cool monster that I like so much. So he was sort of a reverse werewolf, you might say. Uh, because instead of moonlight, it was sunlight. And because instead of being a wolf, he was a <clears throat> reptilian whatchamacallit. Uh, anyway, the sun demon masks used in the movie ended up, uh, one of them ended up in the private collection of Bob Burns, and another one ended up in the private collection of Forrest J. Ackerman. Um, I don't know if, how many there were, but there were at least two that came from the original mold. This particular one that you see before you here is a uh, recast from the one that Forey Ackerman had because uh, he had it, you know, uh, molded basically and some copies were made of Forey's. Now, uh, there are a few of these around in the universe. I painted this particular one. Nobody knows what color he's really supposed to be because in the movie nobody says anything like, help, there's a green sun demon chasing me. Nobody says that. However, the original mask actually was green, uh, kind of an olive green with silver metallic um, highlights sort of dry brushed on there. I didn't know that when I painted this one, but that would have changed things because I like my color scheme better anyway, which is, uh, based on the words sun and demon. I saw this movie on late night TV when I was a little kid and I assumed he would look these kind of warm, hot, reddish, orangish, reddish brown colors with kind of yellowy highlighting. So that's how I painted him. Um, I must not have been completely stupid in doing that because since uh, I did that and uh, devised this paint scheme for him, I've seen other people do the same thing because I've seen like resin kits and figurines and, and uh, uh, so forth use the same kind of basic color scheme that I came up with for the mask. So so I'm in good company. I'm not the only one who thinks he ought to look like this. Now in addition to the hard to find copies made from the mold of the one original one that Forey Ackerman used to have, in addition there is a more wearable mask version right here sculpted in the late OOs by Matt G G G Geither, Gether, Goose, Matt G, formerly of Mask Masters, a great studio that uh, unfortunately um, was only in business for a few years. And I think Matt G, 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 Matt, Matt G was a wonderful sculptor and still is a wonderful sculptor. Did wonderful uh, masks, wonderful creations, and, and I, unfortunately he just wasn't able to keep the business afloat because there weren't that many orders for things like hideous sun demons, you know. But his version, which you can see compared to the original, is a little bigger and a little more 
symmetrical and neat and tidy and orderly and uh, cleaner, which was kind of a trademark of his sculptures. They all had a very nice, crisp, clean look to them, which I like. Now, even though this is not 110% movie accurate, look at the disapproving look he's getting from this one. You know, look at this one. He's just, he's just looking down on this guy. He thinks he's so much better than this guy. You can just tell. Look at the, look at the disdain in his eyes. He's like, oh, the guy thinks he's a Sunday man. He ain't no Sunday man. I'm a Sunday man. But I disagree. I think Matt version from Mask Master Studio was wonderful. I like it a lot. Uh, you can probably guess I painted this one myself as well. You can probably guess that because the paint job looks pretty much the same as on the real one. Why do I have one when I have one of these? Just because I love both versions of it. It's, it's just a great monster and Matt's sculpture is so beautifully done and I think with, uh, when you take the time to give it a nice paint job it's really a beautiful thing. And uh, I love both versions because I'm weird like that. Hey, Dr. Lady likes his monsters, you know? But uh, that's about all I have to say about the Hideous Sun Demon. If you're a fan, you might be able to find one of these online, eBay or uh, someplace like that. Um, again, I don't know how many of these exist from either the Forey Ackerman mold or the uh, Matt, the non Giambattista Casarino version here from Matt. I don't know exactly how many uh, exist, but um, it's a wonderful monster, and uh, if you don't have one in your mass collection and you have a mass collection, well, what are you waiting for? You should look for the very cool Hideous Sun Demon. Join me again in the attic next time, and we'll discuss uh, the Sun Demon's long-lost twin sister, the Hideous Daughter Demon.